Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing-back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full-back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two. And that's why I liked it, because I didn't have to get back that much. We have already started here. the keeper the Keeley dug out his defense then a magnificent effort He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Shot a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Citadella have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. No change to the score. Nil-nil it remains. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Finds himself eased off the ball. Hoists it forward. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. What a ball! It's one! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. it over to the other flank and that has been cleared and they've been caught out here that's good defending very good defending tries to switch the play and the whistle goes for half time 
So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So your views on the first half? But Tony, they'd probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full and it should spur them on. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil now. So we're just settling back into this second half. Tony clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Knocks it away. Tone to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. And it's played forward, and the counter is on. And he's going long. To get his head on that, but couldn't score. Citadella can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. He's got options out wide. Nicely controlled. Header! Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Balls out on the left. Now, he's been bundled over. That is a foul. out by a stubborn defence. Pumps it into the area. It's a brilliant interception. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Gets the better of his man. Now the crop. He's had a shot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side, they hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So what do you take away from...